Welcome back everybody for the final map of this epic clash between Berserk Gaming and Element from Damage Control. I'm Fatso and I'm joined with Scopa tonight. Thanks for joining me buddy. What a night of battlefield between these two epic teams dude. Yeah, um, I, I had pinned uh, the win on DC before the time. I thought that it would... I always expected that it could go to three maps but I didn't think they would struggle as much on um, Heinen as they did. Nevertheless, we're here in the third map, and uh, also said to be quite a different one now with no jets, as it was in Heinen. So the tank battles are going to be quite interesting to watch. Um, if you just notice from the overview, both teams have got a C4 buggy right at the start. Antagonist yep. for BZK. I imagine it would be Bucky's on the other side. Yeah, it was Bucky's. I'm watching that, and it looks like the first engagement, both teams committing a lot to Charlie Flag. And uh, this is going to be a very tough round, Take guys. Look at Bucky's right. ramp. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. <laughs> and he's managed to get through his Bucky's. Will he be able to turn it in time? Bucky's. Yeah, nice. Bucky's. Nice. <laughs> yes, boy. He's going to be the other so gets on one as well oh my gosh an antagonist oh, back is an antagonist guys holy crap welcome to battlefield it's still got kick in it absolutely amazing opening passage of play there from both bzk and element <laughs> hope you didn't miss it guys but wow they put all their <laughs> baskets onto sea but uh eggs on uh, onto sea and uh <laughs> it Check was bro. uh it was a nice oh, hold no. there for, for DC. Luckily, the, the second tank was positioned nice and defensively. And uh, they took out quite a few infantry players with that tank. And, and Scopa, at the same time, we see that BZK have gotten sneaky rascals onto Alpha Flag, <laughs> as well as taking Bravo Flag. So two flags apiece and a big battle going to be happening between the troops now under the ground. This map is going to be very difficult to cover all on guys. So enjoy the yeah. free camera, but it's a, a great passage of play in the beginning. That's why I think people will, will never stop loving Battlefield. You can, you can hate it at times, but that's only in Battlefield where stuff like that happens. Magic moments. And, uh, is this and, a sniper? Uh, no. EZK doing what they do best when they've lost that key tank engagement, immediately recognizing the need to rat. And uh, so they've taken out the, the DC back flag. They've got a decent three flag hold now. They've just got to be a bit careful with this Bravo flag. Um, and uh, DC have got a nice little spawn coming out on the top of the, the beacon here which is difficult to clear out initially for infantry especially if, if you're, you're stuck underneath yeah this is the great dynamic about bravo flag over here guys you can cap from both direct or both sides from above the dish as well as below the dish and uh, it looks like they haven't though they haven't been able to do enough to have elements to capture that flag and berserk gaming will be happy to kind of watch that one tick back in their favor Meanwhile, attack healer up for elements. So can they use that to full effect and clear out a few tickets? I think they'll be hoping it because they've got the the disadvantage at the moment. Yeah, VZK has been a bit sloppy with the timing, so they've left two tanks in their base for close on 30 seconds now. So if you see from the overview, you can see that the, the DC tanks have already pushed out of the base. They're on A flag. Although they're still struggling to cap the flags, they've they've got out earlier and they're going to be putting the pressure on. Um, they've also got the heli, which is nice. Um, so I, I think that was a bit, a bit of a slow reaction from Berserk. Yeah. So, so most likely, what would be good work then, like you said, by Element, they will capture Alpha Flag. It looks like it. I mean, Joker's going to have to be careful because those mines, not, not very much a seasoned tank driver is Joker maybe just not spotting those mines and paying the price as a result meanwhile Zephyr's tank on the roof of the dome because BZK really want that Bravo flag that heli should be taking out that tank on the top of the dome there to really expose it has no reps um, and Sumi. instead it's opened itself up to the the spawns with which have now been stingers and are so interesting gonna, also, yeah. uh, interesting also Scopa from our point of view is committing two players to, to an attack healer. Now I understand that the gun is effective but 
it's you know those missiles are the main damage point the tv guided missiles aren't one shot kills like what they were way back when so committing two players to that maybe not the best idea but here comes the tank to assist to reciprocate is euphoria managing to get down antagonist and now tank on tank battle at charlie flag look it can work if you if you put a lot of fire onto the tanks initially um and then let the, the your tanks clear up the rest of the infantry but the the issue is that they've left the tanks to engage in a stalemate for a bit too long and now EZK can just sit on the edges of the hills and sting at them and you can see the heli having dipped down every 20 seconds or so he's basically not in the fight at all yeah. one stinger will take him out the fight for 20 to 30 seconds and the problem here is that Euphoria has been bullied off by that anti-tank contingency on Charlie flag and like you mentioned Sumi has to constantly run away narrowly dodging many missiles is Sumi in that attack helo at the moment though the tickets in advantage to BZK scoper by roughly about 40 tickets odd so they'll be happy about that and Charlie is going to be neutered though so maybe I spoke a bit too soon maybe it isn't um. Berserkers actually dropped the player, so that's where they may be struggling a bit. Um, I know they did struggle for numbers on Bravo, and now again, because of the fact that they put a bit too much emphasis on taking out the heli, they used like th three guys on the hill. They left themselves quite exposed, so basically the DC tank just moved in there. Um, nice easy cap for them, and the, the push they have going is now on Bravo. Um, I Is would that... hope for DC's sake that they see the push coming to their back flag because otherwise this is going to flip around quite quickly again but for now DC should get a nice bleed back yeah and DC managed to snuff out that back rage on Delta and uh, we see that 8th player is still missing for BZK it doesn't look like there have been any calls there's from... a C4 buggy watch out there on 8th flag there it goes uh, there we go Antagonist with a flavor C4 buggy onto fear them flavor ones where the buggy goes in slow motion majestically before tearing that armor apart. He'll be happy about that antagonist. But now he has to watch out because Sumi is, is wanting to wreak vengeance back and get you know get back there and Antrix in the in the gunner seat manages to get down. So not much happening now, like I said guys, this map is massive, it's absolutely huge, so we're going to have to constantly switch back to the, the overview, the big camera, see good work there by Runek, just kind of hanging on for dear life and managing to bleed down that delta flag as his tanks come rolling. Yeah, now look at A flag, I mean, they've only got one guy, two guys on it now for Berserk, but they capped it essentially with one guy at the end. Um, the chopper wasn't able to clear out the flag completely. Um, and really that brings into question whether you can cap a flag with one to two guys but if you have a heli that's that's killing but not enough to stop a flag bleed then that is quite questionable for me because now they're left in a situation where they only have six guys on the ground they really don't have enough manpower they're spread too thin so they, they still have the flag advantage at this stage but it looks like it may turn uh, any second and we see a c4 charged by antagonist oh my goodness look at that c4 that c4 just glitched in the air completely antagonist will feel a little bit hard done by by that yeah and uh three flags nine advantage for element they'll want the bleed back and bzk will have to reciprocate in some direction they are flat footed at this moment guys so only one troop going in We're gonna have a bit of a showdown on delta flag but Runek doesn't have the height advantage. And he catches a grenade with his teeth, taking off 80% of his health there. Oof, a little bit of a tough scenario now for... The C4 buggy coming in, that's the end of your tank, buddy. Did I miss C4 it? C4 buggies for days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> constantly miss them. There's just so many of them happening, and they're always... Then it's something you never get tired of. And uh, just going back to what I was saying, three flags and sitting pretty is element at this point in time, Scoper. Yeah, so that's why, I mean, like I said earlier, I was a bit worried for DC's sake, the fact that they're only at six, six on the ground, but Berserk have not made use of this time very well, 
the the tank that died was essentially in no man's land between A and C, while their other tank just essentially sat on C and did nothing. Um, so they, they sent one tank out to die and then the next one went out to follow uh, shortly thereafter. Um, just uh, a, bit, a bit sloppy from their tanks and their infantry don't really have a, a sense of purpose. They aren't really pushing new flags, they're only responding to flags that are being capped. So this is going to end uh, very quickly. Fairly quickly if they mm. don't. I mean, it's it's good that they've they've now established uh, at least one guy on there to to help on their back flag, and they have a a decent cap coming out on Bravo. But as these these uh, two two flags come out with DC having both tanks still in their favour, uh, yeah, it's quite risky for Berserk. Yeah, and it hasn't, like you said, it hasn't worked out in favour of them. They have lost a lot of tickets, but as I say, that things start slowing down now. Shaz together with, uh, well, you know, like, sorry, excuse me, antagonist managing to get back the newts on that flag there, which is Delta flag. And only Shaz to reciprocate. So Shaz is going to have to defend against Runic, Zip Zip, and antagonist. So let's have a look. She would have maybe said something like, I'm all alone here, guys. This flag's not going down anywhere. And there it is in favor of BZK. So two flags each again and Charlie burning in favor BZK. Yeah, some nice work from Shaz coming out there. Unfortunately, she gets taken out now. Um, but at least she drew the players back. Um, and that allowed some, some pressure to be re relieved or B flag allows the tank to move in. Um, and we see what's Joker. What's quite funny is, is a dot .exe, he waited a long time on that C flag, just hidden. Waited for that spawn bomb. Um, that's allowed them to, to now contest C. I wonder no. if this tank has any reps on him. Joker and it's a case of one of tank trouble. engaging He's going to get C4 buggied again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. I love it, it never gets old guys, antagonist again, uh, he's going to be so happy about it, it's such a, you know, to get that done in a public game is fun, to do it in a competitive match is just such a hell yeah moment, and uh, good work there by antagonist, easily disposing of Joker, and meanwhile pushing back up to Charlie Flag, so a lot of troops around Charlie Flag as we see Antrix managing to get a kill, oh, not a reloaded, rocket there his straw wasn't reloaded it was antrix and he manages to get yes oh, great great shots great shots and i managed to get his pov another only in battlefield moment there so nice to see an air shot happening there with the straw and antrix just kind of <laughs> c4 I, I buggy just, again Dude, I, yeah, I can't i don't I can't even get over the fact that there's just so so many c4 buggies this, this map is just all over the place at the moment yeah it's um i think it's working in this the Guys favors doing the C4, the fact that everything is just so haywire. Um, and uh, it, it makes it quite hard to to get a grip of actually what's going down in this map. Um, we look at the scoreboard and PC have got a healthy kind of 50 t ticket advantage. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's chaos. Zerk it's again pandemic. all over the map can just really come out anywhere they'd like. This is crazy, and I, I do see that Godlike has joined BZK's fake numbers, so they would have had to, if I'm not mistaken, pull him in. Um, yeah, just a crazy map. Uh, too much everywhere, it's it's chaotic. Sure, but but a good game so far by Elements, maintaining that lead by a mere, you know, 40, 40, 50 odd tickets, 54 tickets to be exact. So they'll be happy about that and hopefully be able to hold their advantage. They're losing alpha flag. No, they're actually gaining alpha flag, so they'll they'll turn the bleed around now. See, this is what confuses me. BZK, I don't know why they feel they need a seven-man push on Charlie. Um, especially when it's all infantry-based. Um, what they've done is they've, they've basically left Bravo to be capped by a one guy. And... All at the same time, they could have just spawned two guys in a buggy at their back flag and gone around to A, and they would have been just as effective. Now the infantry have been left essentially with no cover Charlie. on Charlie. Yeah. Charlie is the worst when those buildings are taken down, um, and 
this flag no, is not gonna last very kill. long for them. We do manage to see a knife kill by Zip Zip on Bucky's though, but it won't be enough. That Charlie flag is just like, like Scope has said, way too open. Zip Zip catching a tank slope. And I think, you know, I don't, I don't want to say maybe it's not a very practice map of, of the team, but it did kind of seem like that it was quite a scattered approach. And throw everything you can at the most dangerous flag and hope that things turn out for the best. BZK are though taking Bravo flag, they'll be happy about that. Hopefully slow down the bleed, but it has to happen soon because tickets are still ticking away. Slowly now, slipping away from them. BZK have been, uh, they've been too generous with allowing DC to have their, their back flag without even protecting it. Um, and they, they, although D flag is a hard uh, flag to defend if, if it's your back flag on this map, it, it's really, they haven't put enough attention into defending it as, as much as um, they have to if they don't push A. So you can't, you can't be giving away those, those flags without even uh, a, a contest. Um, because if you're limiting yourself to the inside of the map, then um, really you, you're going to get choked out eventually. Yeah, and let's watch Bucky. So I did spot this C4 buggy. Oh, this one's a, very much a Michael Bay one. Oh, uh, Bucky's. <laughs> Very happy about that. C4 kill, and he survives it. But uh, Antagonist hasn't seen him, and that'll almost be the first pump to end it off. Bucky's will be happy about that. This one is going to go in favor. This round of the final map is going to go in favor of Elements. 102 tickets for them. And uh, that's a great game by both teams. We'll be right back after this short break, guys.